Our goal in this tutorial is to explain how to interpret phylogenetic trees. Phylogeny is a branching relationship of populations as they give rise to multiple descendant populations over evolutionary time. The study of phylogeny relies on organisms displayed traits which are observable characteristics such as in an anatomical features, developmental or embryological processes, behavioral patterns, or genetic sequences. A phylogenetic tree seems a lot like a family tree or pedigree as it represents patterns of ancestry using tree-like branching diagrams. However, unlike a fa family tree or pedigree, a phylogenetic tree tells us the ancestry of populations and not individuals. Phylogenetic tree is read from the root to the taxon. The root is where common lineage from which all species on the tree are derived. The directions from the root to the taxon presents moving forward in time. The branch points where the tree splits are called nodes. These represent common ancestors to the species that come after the splitting or branching point. All branch tips arising from a given node are descendants of the common ancestor at that node. The nodes in a phylogeny tree typically represent populations. Branch tips represent a group of related organisms or taxons. Species A and B share a common recent ancestor at this node. Therefore, they are more closely related than species B and C. Species B and C share a recently common ancestor at this node, which is further back on the tree. A clade consists of a group of species that share a single common ancestor. Species F is an outgroup, which is a taxon related to the groups of interest that branched off earlier in evolutionary history. Unrooted trees do not indicate direction of time. Each rooted tree is derived from the labeled point on the unrooted tree above. Whether a phylogeny is represented as a tree or ladder, one can rotate at any node or any combination of nodes without changing the structure of the tree. Thus, the leftmost tree shown in each row is identical from a phylo phylogenetic perspective to the tree shown to the right. The colors indicate the nodes that were rotated in, in each case. For example, from image 1 to image 2, the node that gives rise to 3 and 4 has been rotated. This rotation leaves the phylogeny unchanged. Phylogenetic trees allow us to decide what constitutes natural groupings of organisms. Monophyletic is a taxonomic group comprised of all descendants from the most common ancestor. For example, the highlighted clade is a monophyletic group as B is a single common ancestor to species C, D, E, F, G, and H. F is also a single common ancestor for species G and H, which makes it another monophyletic group within the aforementioned monophyletic group. C is also a common ancestor for species D and E, thus forming another monophyletic group. A paraphyletic group contains the most common ancestor, but not all of its descendants. As can be seen, species J has been excluded from the highlighted group of A, I, and K. A polyphyletic group is a group that does not contain the common ancestor of its members and some or all descendants of that ancestor. Asynapomorphy is a derived trait that is shared by two populations because it was inherited from a recent common ancestor. Asymplesiomorphy is a derived trait that has arisen so recently that it appears in only one of two sister taxa. In this phylogenetic tree, the trait vertebral column is a synapomorphy of all the species from lamprey to leopard, as it is a shared derived trait inherited from a recent common ancestor. The hare and leopard is a symplesiomorphy because it's a derived trait that appears in only one of two sister taxa, since leopard has hair and sister taxa turtle doesn't. Now as practice for yourself, identify the different aspects of the phylogenetic tree that was discussed in this video. Thank you.